What'd you figure out, Nate? Look at the big brain on Brad. Ooh. I think this is going to work just fine. <laughs> so, I didn't do a good enough job reading the instructions. And, uh, Here we are. Mistakes were made. This doesn't look like a mistake. It looks like a great idea about to happen. I think, uh, I mean, there's a reason why they put that on a stretchy cord, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. So. I agree. All right. Let's find a ladder. I, I'm a mechanic and there's nuts and bolts related here, you know? Yeah. But. This is made in China, and it's in its directions are not very good. So kind of just like applying common sense, winging it, and I guess wrong. There's multiple heights that this thing can install, and gotcha. the cables that I have are for the tallest height. Ah. And you can see the picture that was drawn set it up like this, to where it's in like the medium height. So. Now the thing is all together, like 80% of the way together, and we need to raise it up. So we're gonna use the lift to lift, do the raising. Yeah. And hopefully we don't kill ourselves. Well, I do have my mother on speed dial and my safety squints are engaged. So hopefully it works. Oh God. Uh, Casey hasn't seen this I, yet. I was out in the parking lot talking on the phone. I saw Ethan walk out, grab a camera, and walk back in. I was like, something sketchy is going on. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. He didn't do that for no reason. Nope. Well, at first, I was in the man lift, and I'm thinking, like, we already overloaded this we, thing We once. know it has a weight limit. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I did read the fine print. It's 500 pounds. So what is the upper half of that lift 250, 200, weight? plus the 100 pounds of junk we had in there with us. Oh, we're... I would, no, like, why did it let us go up and then decide that's, to That's where I'm it. disappointed as well. Yeah. So, but anyway, so I, I was up there, you know, 10 minutes ago, and I was like, how am I going to be all the way up there? And then all the bolts are going to be down here. And, he, and, and then he was like, well, we got two guys here on the ladder. Yeah. And then I was like, boom. Stretchy cord. This is why we're friends. So it's not called a man lift. It's called a scissor lift. That's true. That's so true. Look at that. I left just enough room for a... Uh, oh, and I did do the safe thing. I slid the thing in. I know. Oh, the I dingus. Saw, yeah. I saw some comments, you know. <laughs> About your Alex Ketchum was slid out. It's like, no, it's because I'm fat. Like... <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> oh, I've said it. I thought he was thick. Well, I'm just... So now all the hardware is out of that side. Uh-huh. And I'm getting ready to take the hardware out of this side. And then it's totally on the scissor lift. And then it's yep. going to be totally on the scissor lift. If anything happens, can I have your tractor? It's missing a window. That's all right. All right. I've never had a tractor with a window, uh, so if it's missing a window, that's still a upgrade. It's a, it's it's a, a pretty good. That's a pretty good net yeah. gain, I'd say. Yeah. Which, for all the other people out there, like when you load your tractor or skid steer or mini or whatever on your trailer, make sure you like slam the door or lock oh because they're they're suicide yep so the wind catches them and then off they go yeah yeah i looked in my mirror uh right about the same time uh the wind grabbed that door and so, so you got to watch it happen yeah that's the best. oh that's usually you got a picture for that yes. oh we found out we found out yesterday don't kill these me. these hydraulic cylinders here that you have to pull the cap off the bottom to put the hydraulic line on yeah have oil in them oh good so which I yes. guess is a good thing, you yeah. know? Yeah, yesterday I went to go put the hydraulic line on one of them, so I pulled the cap off to then go get the hydraulic line and the tools and come back and put on. So I was in no way ready, and then uh, here comes all the oil, <laughs> and I had nothing to stop it. So uh, the nice clean lift and floor is well lubricated. Good. Just look at the it's brand. It's like a brand new skateboard. You yeah. Know? Like, when have you ever skateboarded a brand new skateboard? It's been a minute. <laughs> Can you do a kickflip? No. No? No. Me either. All right, so we got one bolt here. That's holding all this together. 
I wish that stretchy cord was like 30 feet longer so I can get the well away from this thing. What? How tall is this lift? Yes. And what's the dif distance from the base of the lift to your brand new pickup? Oh, 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 that, that. Well, right now it's actually an accordion lift. Like if it falls, I think this is going to go down there. And then if it falls that way, it'd miss the pickup because it's shorter. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to stand over here that's, by the brand new pickup. Okay, so you go up and I'll pull that out. So yesterday, I think I crashed into the lift more times than you did. Yeah, you did. So you run the lift. Okay. Because you need the practice. There you go. It's in turtle mode. <whistles> Horn works. Don't. Make sure you have lift. Not so it's out. in outdoor mode. What do you think is more like sensitive? I bet outdoor mode is more sensitive. Because it's going to be like rock crawling. It's got to go slow. Okay, so. I need a light bit of. Uh, Come on, baby. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 <Are you down? laughs> Overload. No, now what? <laughs> well, now the bolt load is going that way. So if we get the bolt out, it won't be overloaded anymore. And you know what I realized? No, once we get the bolt out, it'll take a lot of load off. No, because it's jammed the other way now and it's hard against it. So let's try to lift the whole thing. But you know what I realized? There's no need right now for the ladder to be under all the time standing when I could stand over here at safety. Well, no, that's no fun, Casey. Get a, get a wrench and let's unscrew this. Quit making sense. Here. I'm on it right here. I'm holding it. See? Now it's unloaded. <laughs> Are we still overloaded? Because we just removed weight. I think it's snow falling off your roof. I'm just real edgy. Well, now we'll know if that is more than 500 pounds. <laughs> That's true. We're about to find out. Like, I know that this is more than 500 pounds. I lifted it. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Survey says... 498. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay. Uh. Bolt hole lined up. Looks like we've got another. This side's gonna get lined up first. Yeah, okay. This side's higher. Okay. So let's go just a shwiwa more. A what? A shwiwa. Oh, okay. It's like a CH, <laughs> but smaller. I gotcha. <laughs> oh, too far. Hold that, on. Oh, this one's too far too. Okay. Now we're gonna go down. This thing does not have a, a graceful no, down. It no, it's no. uh. It's, it's even in turtle mode, see? Okay, so now we're gonna go this way. I, you know what? Uh, I think I can work with that. No. You got a bar? Let's see here. Uh, yeah, and you just... What? I thought that maybe... See, you went the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, in my know. mind, it's like an airplane, you know? Like, pull uh, up, pull up! Yeah, you know? Terrain, terrain, that's terrain that's pull up! almost crashed it yesterday. Okay, so now we're going to actually go up. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> Don't move, don't move. Turn it off, quick. Um, I, I am blown away this worked. <laughs> <laughs> I got bad news for you. What? That's not it. Is it only one? There's no more. We gotta go another set higher. What do the cables look like? Are, are, are we getting close on the cables? And that's, cause like here's the cable. Just start drilling holes in it, it'll be fine. Yeah, you're right, you gotta keep going. Yeah, um. Dang it. We gotta like touch that roof after. Okay, so on the back side, are we almost touching the ceiling? Oh no, we're fine. So oh, we're fine. The other hole's right here. No problem. So no we problem. gotta go with that one more. No problem. Okay. Give her four inches. That's what she said. That's so close. Are we touching the ceiling yet? No. Uh, oh, you'll you'll know because it'll overload it immediately. If we lock this thing up against the ceiling, how do we take the weight off to get it back down? Are you uh, are you lined up there? I think we're good, dude. I think you're, I think you're there, boss. Golly. Check it that out. I'm there you go. this thing over on my truck. Hey, I know a guy with a tow truck. Oh, 
so dumb. <laughs> is it though, Casey? Or is it just pure genius and we're just not we're not smart enough this to realize it yet? Idea. It was actually. I said jokingly, just put the scissor lift in there and raise it up. Okay, so there's two things you don't do around here. Put me on speakerphone. Yeah, true. I've made that mistake. Um and say things like that. Dang it, see? I messed up. Those plates are supposed to go on over here. Oh. So you might be wondering why I'm a mechanic. These are nuts and bolts. Like the sh you know. I'm not a lift mechanic. Yeah. Not yet. I learned there is a lift yet. mechanic here in Bend. The guy's super old. His name's John White. And uh, I called him. I was like, hey, I'm ready to put lifts up. And uh, he was like, oh, I'm going snowmobiling. And so what do I do? I'm like, oh, I can do this. Yeah. You know? And now we see why they charge so much. Um, I need two nuts, four bolts, three flat washers, and two lock washers. Didn't you just give me that plate? Oh, you took it with you. Yes. Okay. Take like, the washer off. I know, but clearly, like, look in there. Like, they put the spot welds on the inside. Should put them on the outside. Like, do I just let that? Is that is that the wrench? No. It's it's like your uh, <laughs> carriage bolts. Yeah. It's yeah. A carriage bolt. But they gave me washers. I have to use them. It's fine. It's ALI certified, I think. I think. It, it, it's funny how the automotive industry is just so full of made up acronyms. Thanks. Like, oh, ASE, I'm ASE certified. ALI certified. I'm ASE certified. Like, I'm CHR level 13 certified. I'm the only tow operator in the world to hold that certification because I made it up myself and gave it to me. I'm still waiting on mine, Casey. Maybe someday. You're, cur you're currently at a CHR negative two. Negative two. Which, uh, which certification is this? This is, this is CHR 10. You're getting there. I, I was going to guess more of like a 6.9. Go with that. Yeah. Since we're making it up as we go. Yeah. I need two more bolts. <laughs> Hold up. We've got to explain why we're even doing this. Elite Fleet Automotive is expanding. Yeah. We're going to conquer the world. We missed like the whole like well, what? Hey. reason this is happening. Yeah. Uh, if you've wanted your car serviced at Elite Fleet Automotive and had a long wait time. Or if you specifically wanted Nate to work on your car. I don't know if that's quite the pitch we need to go with, but <laughs> Elite Fleet Automotive is expanding with more bays, more lifts, more shop to better service you, the customers. There you go. This video, not sponsored by Elite Fleet Automotive, unless Nate happens to buy me lunch today, and it is. <laughs> I, tried to buy him, I tried to buy him stuff yesterday. Yeah, I bought and, you. And uh, we got in this like shoving match at the, at the cash <laughs> register. You know, he's we were like, trying to tap his car and I'm trying to chip it. So then we got an argument of what's better, inserting or tapping, and then the cashier looked at us with a disapproving eye. Was this at a yeah. She was not in disapproval. <laughs> <laughs> nope, she watches the channel. So, uh, you mentioned it just like yesterday. Um, we're gonna go to, we're gonna be like done with what we're doing. It's gonna be overloaded now. Yes. Yeah. That would have been funny if we pinned it against the roof and then it overloaded. Like, how do we remove weight on it when the weight is the roof? Raise the roof. We should, get the Zach. we should have brought the Zach lift. I don't even think the Zach lift could get us out of that. I don't think that we can get the Zach lift in this building. Not with that attitude. That, <laughs> <laughs> that, that door is a bit on the small side for now. It's going to get made bigger to make entry and exit much easier. But for now, it's it's tight. We can we can do some remodeling with the you herd know, bumper. You know, like, I'm super fat when the topic of conversation is how to get a bigger lift in here. It's fine. You're not fat, mate. You're just dummy thick, okay? You just have a lot of gravity. <laughs> Extra gravity. That man has a lot of gravity. Hell yeah, brother. So your mom. <laughs> what you doing, Casey? I'm looking at 
cable is actually pretty good now. So that, cable there, expert. That, that thing I sent you a picture of yesterday that said, like, want to install lifts like a pro? Yeah. So, um, this one is still routed wrong. We had a... Because you touched it. We had the idea of how these cables route. And this one comes back up and has a threaded end like this that mounts to a piece inside of here. And we couldn't figure out how to do it. So I laid under there and I fished my hand up through there and got my hand past this little hole thing and twisted it and got a nut and a washer and all that stuff on top of it. I did it to both of them. It was such a total pain in the ass. And then uh, they showed us in the picture that Nate found later that no, you just shove the cable all the way through the top, put the nut on and drop it back down. And it seats in the hole. Unbelievable. I believe it. Unbelievable. I believe it because I did it. Oh yeah. Want to see me do it again? So technically those cables are installed wrong now. And you know what the cool part is too? Like we have to do that again because there's a nut on both sides. I know. So we have to take the nut <laughs> off the other. The other. So I have to get that back out of there now. And the my same way. Doesn't fit in there. So. Yeah, I'm the only one who could do it. So like I have to get that back out of there now because they're supposed to. See how? See, look right here. See how there's this nut here. And there's a nut on the other side. Yeah. The, oh, you lock those two together and that's what makes the adjustment. No, both nuts are supposed to go on one side, which makes all the sense in the world because when is the cable ever going to be pushing? Never. So the one that's inside of here is now installed wrong and I have to get it back out so that we can put it in right. Unbelievable. You should stick to driving tow trucks. I'm not even good at that. <laughs> I can even screw that up. Sketchy stuff. Let me get involved. Let me get involved. <laughs> The best part, none of these lifts are bolted to the floor yet. They're yeah. just. Yeah, this is just. <laughs> Win! Yes! That wasn't sketchy at all. It actually wasn't. Like, that went really well. Here so, we see Ka Casey having an existential crisis on the ground. When I did this, I didn't have my sweater on, and I think that is all the difference in the world of my arm fitting through here. Hmm. Got Dude, it. I'm impressed as to how close that is to the ceiling. I bet you. Uh, pull, pull down on this, sir. That has to be hitting the ceiling. Uh, no. It's like the slap is tapping it, but it's like, it's going to clear. Yeah, That's I think you're good. That's impressive. Typical Casey laying down on the job. Uh, yeah. Because the other weird thing, like, how in the F are you ever going to tighten that nut down? Even when it's installed correctly, it's like, this is stupid! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. So, no, it makes sense, though, because you you take that one out, go to the other side, thread it all the way through there because you have slack, you crank That's those what nuts I did down. On the ones that are in here, I ran the jam nuts, like, way down. Okay, so now, now yeah, see? I have hardly any slack there because I need to. You need to loosen that back up a bit. Yeah. Well, how much? Um... See. Yeah, that's. So I need to like back those off a shui. So that you have room to do the other. Yeah. Yeah. If there's like a lift guy out there, not like the not like the ride share, but. Um, uh, a professional in this field, comment below. Because we do not know what we're doing. That's I bet you okay. people are going to watch this video and be like, yeah, I want to take my truck to Nate and have him put him on his missus so, incorrectly assembled lift. It'll be correctly assembled by the time we're done. Yeah, that'll be fine. Everything's the fine. The last time John came, like, he was, he was here. This is my, my measuring device. I'm going to I'm gonna put the other side on. There you go. <laughs> so when we made Jordan's lift taller, I'm pretty sure John was only here like four hours. So like, we're gonna miss for two days. Well, there's two lifts. But there's two of us. This goes washer first, normal nut. <laughs> Don't, don't. Baby whale just gave birth. <laughs> <laughs> that was a try hard noise. Okay, so then you put this on like that, 
that would get cranked down and you drop it down then you come over here easy there Casey this thing got bolted down I saw this coming actually big brain <laughs> big, big brain. brain hold you want to get the internet really riled up how do you pronounce those pliers I saw that, that reel. What did he say? They're, he said something. I can't even regurgitate it. The, the uh, something. For pliers. Yeah, it's nipex. Pliers. Nipex. Pliers. Nipex. 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 I've heard it about 15 different ways. All I know is they're really good pliers. So, like, what's what's that word right there? Nip. Exactly. So, what's that word? Knip. No, it's nip. It's also nip. It's just nip with a K. <laughs> So now, how do you go there? Nipex. I mean, actually, this makes me think. So this makes me think of another reel that I saw that kind of made me laugh. Um, spell river. River. Yeah. R I V E R. Okay. Say it out loud. River. Say it out loud again. River. Say it out loud again. River. Okay. Put a D in front of it. In front of it. Driver. <laughs> Damn! You must have saw it too. No, I didn't. No? Okay. No. Well, I'm, 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 I'm retarded then. I'm good at English. You're good at English? Sometimes. Yeah. I'm good at speaking My words and stuff. My was like, deriver. De deriver? <laughs> He's trying to pull a fast one on me. Casey, how you doing over here? I'm, uh, good. I'm slowly succeeding. That's good. CHR 13 uh, lift installation. Yep. Very nice. I'm into it. I'm 35 years old. That'd say the same thing. I thought you're older than that. Me? Yeah. I'm actually not 35. I'm 34. Oh. Oh, you make me feel old. I'm about to turn. I'm about to turn 39. And I feel like I'm the mentality of nine. When did you get your poop back? Like, do I have one of those coming? I'd like to be two and a half. No, I actually gained weight since I got that. Because I was so sick and like dying that I was. I actually gained weight. Dying's bad for you. Dying's really bad for you, it turns out. Don't recommend it. It's the last thing you'll ever do. Yeah, but the problem is you can be doing it for a long time before that happens. <laughs> Jesus. 12 years. Well, you're tightening the cables and nothing else is tight. Oh, oh yeah, we, we just like assembled. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who's gonna quality control this when we're done? Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get Je uh, uh, John over here. Yeah. John, I know, I hope you had a good time snowmobiling. Uh, I'll pay you the same amount of money, but... <laughs> I feel like I did a good job, you know? Yeah. I mean, it looks I, good. You know. Dude, the fit and finish on that one, like, you probably can't see up there. But, like, that's a, that's a sanitary install. So yeah. Once these are done, we need to like test them to make sure they work. And I think the perfect vehicle to do that with is that brand new ZR2 Chevy I'm driving because it's on their insurance and not either of ours. That's true, because if I drop that thing off one of these lifts, they're gonna be like, okay, well, what's the VIN number for the claim? And I'll be like, ha, it doesn't have one. <laughs> Does it not have a VIN number? No, it's a, it's a manufacturer truck. So oh. people are like, well, some poor sap's gonna get that as a dealer demo unit. Like, yeah. nope. It's getting crushed. Yeah. Which is a damn this shame. This is like a promotional like test track, like not. That's why it has manufacturer plates on it, not dealer plates. Yeah. So yeah, if we drop that one. Also, you know what a great video that would make? I told you we should jump it. Chevy, I've, Chevy. I've already. What's, what's happening this weekend? Tough truck, man. Chevy, if you're watching this, anything I've ever done, which you should be, because you know you like asked me to try out the truck. You have until to, like tomorrow. So, I'm gonna post this tonight. If you want the best promotional video of that truck and its toughness and rugged durability you could ever have, tough trucks are in town this weekend. Wait, is it this weekend? It's this weekend. Today's Monday? Saturday. This weekend, tough trucks are in town. I will tough truck the shit out of that truck if you say yes. What, and would if that you not say no? We might do it anyway. It won't be at my house. <laughs> <laughs> Chevy, let's, let's make it happen. You know the problem I just realized? What's that? That truck's not like any part of this video, so. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Give me that. So the issue. Hey, you pull that, pull 
Like the issue with that whole thing was the, the truck's not any part of this video. It's a video of us doing dumb shit here, but there it is. Now, that truck is part of this video. Family. I'd like <laughs> <laughs> so, so like just so you know elite fleet has like professional technicians who work on the vehicles just if not you me. would prefer just not it's lunch time it is you want to launch uh, where you want to go I like cross you I'm down let's go cross you not gonna twist my arm we got a brand new Chevy to drive Perfect. I was just thinking, like, I'm blocking. I can't fit in the car seats. Like, you're the smallest one here. So, let's go. Right. Sit, sit in Gavin's car seat. There you go. What you doing, pup? Let's go to lunch. Okay. Right, we just got back from lunch. We got Carl's Jr. Because when a, a food's place's slogan is, if it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face, the best place to eat it is in a brand new truck that you don't own. <laughs> <laughs> all right, back to this show. <laughs> We're taking go that. fast, go fast. There's oil in there. Oh my God, Nate. <laughs> nope. What the hell? Yeah, I How come the ones I did were full of oil? <laughs> That's why we have rags all over the floor around here. Yeah. Is your uh, is your fitting gonna bork you? Yeah, I'm gonna have to lift up on that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Can you lift up on that? Uh... Hey, hold this. Yes. We have we have the dream team. Okay. Put the screwdriver under it. Okay, you good? Yeah. Okay. Good. So it's pinched the shit out of my wrist. But we gotta put it back on. You whore. <laughs> Up. Now, no, you're good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you just made fun of Bruce for laying down his job. <laughs> now, here no, you are. I'm gonna show that. Oh, don't break. Casey's ruthless. Oh. I think that's uh, are there nineties in there? You might want one. Oh god, you're getting dangerous. This is where it all goes bad. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Casey. <laughs> you make me so nervous. <laughs> Okay. It's definitely not gonna leak. Close enough. <laughs> yep. Okay. Go ahead. Put her home. That's how you know. Where the fuck it is? Here it is. That's how you know. That's how you know you're exerting yourself when your legs come off the ground and your cheeks are rosy red. Yeah. You got both. We all kind of extra. Okay. Okay. Put her hand tight on there. There you go. All right. That was sad. Yeah. Uh, I had to unplug. I want to keep the lights on? Yep. So it only popped once yesterday. It popped four times this morning. So, Nate put all new lights in the shop. Every light you see, plus all the ones that I'm on right now, one circuit. 20 amp circuit, and they're LEDs. I mean, I'd have done the same thing. Give me a, ro a clockwise rotate. There you go. What do you bet this side's full of oil? Well, we don't have rags or anything ready, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat this side like I treated the other side. Because if I'm not ready, it's just, yeah, see. This is bullshit. I the oil disappeared oil out of the there one. because I was like, ready to go. A little more clockwise. Yeah. Like down a lot on your end. Yeah. I'm like looking at it thinking like, I can get another one. Yeah, but then we're going to get three quarters of the way, and it's not going to happen. Bull. Huh. Okay, yep. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, if it leaks, tighten it more. How about that? Yeah, but then I'm going to have a 16-foot tall hose, and I'm going to take off, and it's going to be shit oil everywhere. <laughs> That's a very good point. Okay. Lift up on that cylinder. Uh, okay. All right, we're out of it. 
Oh man, this is where it goes bad. Nope. Just gotta have faith, Casey. Dude. It's, no. Just gotta have faith. Just gotta believe in it. Oh my god. This is like. It's just, it's because he's got 18 feet of Teflon tape on the damn thing. You know, this is aluminum, right? Huh? No, it's steel. Okay, he was right. <laughs> what, three quarters of the way? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so close. Uh... As I'm like. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Right. We made it. Going down. We're there. Shut up! Do you like Vietnamese food? I don't it? think I could have an opinion on that. You ever ha have you ever had pho? I've had. I, I did. I I have, but I didn't know it was called pho. Gotcha. I thought it was pho. Uh, pho Viet up the road there. Uh, usually my orders of either P1 or P3. I've seen that restaurant you're talking about. Yeah. And I like have seen those letters, but I've never thought of. You've them never being been there. Pronounced pho Viet. Oh, yes. oh, it makes a lot of sense. There you go. You should go there. It's really good. <clears throat> if you're into that kind of thing. Casey doesn't like Asian food. Casey doesn't like Asian food? Casey doesn't like Asian food. That's why he married a Mexican. <laughs> I do like Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. Where are all my stuffs? I don't know. This they... is the point of the video people are screaming, what is this video even about? It's about whatever. We don't know. Who cares? He says all sorts of sketchy happening and turn on the camera. This is the type of thing that goes on in my life and Nate's life on a daily basis that you never see because this is just like normal. This is everyday stuff. Ethan just walked out and grabbed a camera and started filming. All this was already happening. Yeah. This is nothing out of the ordinary. We're actually being tamed because there's a camera. Well, camera. the thing is, yeah. is like, you know, you make so many good videos, like, you gotta come and hang out with Nate and make some shitty ones every once in a while. <laughs> I think this will do really well. So, so here's the thing, in YouTube, the, the YouTube algor algorithm bases your uploads on a scale of 1 to 10. Uh, out of your last 10 videos, when you upload one, how it's performing in that ranking, one is obviously the best, the best out of the 10. And uh, so it's grading on a curve, really. So throwing a bad one in like this every once in a while makes the other ones look better on that curve. There you go. <laughs> See? See, you're good for, good, you're good for business. For business. Fast food business. You know how many people would get mad if I just tightened that up like that? Yeah. <laughs> you know how they get mad? There, uh, your spring compressor, your strut compressor, and uh, oh, do you, you want to see some people get mad? Did we get mad about that? No, but if we showed it, they would. I want to see it. I can give a fuck. I too am a welder and a metal fabricator. Okay, welding an air hose reel all the way the fuck up there isn't hurting nothing. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I'm, yeah. Like, if welding to this was so bad, this wouldn't be welded to this. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And my, and my, and my welds, welds look yeah. way better than that. And your welds are also better than hey, theirs. Like my three-year-old did better than that. Come on. <laughs> <sighs> what? This is my question. Like, these? Well, there's wires up there. And here. Oh, that's the, that's the cutoff for the safety. Yeah, right. So this is a safety, that's a safety. So, you know what I, no big deal. So, we installed both of those crossbars backwards. We didn't do shit, because I didn't install. You were supervising. I didn't install either one of the crossbars. So, the holes. Like, oh, hold up, hold up, the actual whole top bar? The whole top bar. I completely installed that one by myself, so yeah. yeah well, I did the same thing. Okay, I was following your example then. So, you see how, this, how the left side has way more holes in it? Yeah. Because it has the switch and then the hanger, and then that side has way fewer holes? Yeah. Yeah. Why is the switch on this side and then the pump's on that side? Exactly. That's why they're backwards. That's why, that's why it's backwards. This is totally what I was thinking. That wire should come all the way down here. But I was like, there's going to be a J box up there anyway for the power. Like, I'll just put the same. Oh, so if that one was the other way around, that wire would be. The wire would be down here. Does this one not, not reach So we left them backwards. I left. Last night, I was like, don't care. <laughs> like, I'm not taking apart this whole entire lift just to spin the thing around. I was like, yeah. there's going to be a J box up there already. Like, I'll just have this have the power interrupt happen up there. <laughs> yeah. I definitely put that one in. Way to go, Casey. 
Zero. That was actually the first thing we lifted on the Zero scenario. part of me was like, damn it, Casey. <laughs> so yeah, we, I put that up there. I lifted it with scissors left, but I wrote up with it. I didn't check it out like Nate did it from the floor. No, 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 no. The, different, the difference is it wouldn't have lifted the, the both of yes. you and Nate. So, so, so look what I did. You want to see a professional versus a Nate. Um, look, at, he's putting the, the bolts out where they stick out. You see all this bolt thread sticking out. I installed the one over here, so, and look what I did. I put them that way so, so that Casey, it's nice, clean bolt head, and these are all hidden back here, but I'm also now seeing that I completely forgot to tighten these ones down. These are for add-ons. Like, you need that extra thread there so you can push this, hit the bungee cord down, and walk Oh, away. yeah, that's a good that's idea. You can bungee cord the safety down, too. Efficiency. Yeah, I, I didn't tighten that those. safety is there for looks. Whoops. I wonder how much other stuff I didn't tighten. There's uh Okay, which way are we going? Uh, it needs to go towards you. So it'd be so funny, like hide one of my ostomy bags up in here before the scissor lift oh, goes back. God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't talk bad about my truck that's not mine. How dare you? I want to. You should. Yeah. That's the ultimate. You know. That's what I said. Chevy, like, what a great advertisement. Do you know the video you'd get if I tough truck that thing? Exactly. That's I think I'm you saying. can tough truck it regardless. It's better to ask for forgiveness than for, than for permission. Especially from a giant corporation with super expensive lawyers. Yes. <laughs> like, what they think was going to happen. They, they knew who they yeah, were sending it to. Exactly. Yeah. And if you don't set the airbags off, are you really testing it? That's a good point. Right. And I mean, what better advertising? What? No, what if, what if, best idea ever. What if we get them to like program or we can cut a wire and set off every freaking airbag in that thing? Side curtain, front, rear, top, all that stuff. And then we try to do the chuff truck course by the cameras from inside. Because then we're basically in a padded room. What? Casey, okay, so do you know how airbags work? Don't, don't, don't <laughs> logic this, okay? <laughs> you ruin a lot of stuff with your logic and I'm not going to stand for it anymore. Okay. Okay, we actually got like something to do now, so we're gonna go do that. See you next time.